Hey guys, this is Brian at Obedia, and I want to show you a great new feature in Personas' Studio One 2 digital audio workstation today, and that is making use of folder tracks. A lot of times as you're mixing, you're going to find that you're going to create more and more tracks, especially when you're mixing and recording a full band. So as you start to record a number of different instruments, sometimes it can start to get a little bit confusing having all of those different tracks going on. So folder tracks are a great way to be able to keep track of those different instruments that you are recording and be able to kind of move them to the side while you work on another piece. So let me go ahead and show you what I mean by this. So I have a session opened up right here and I have a number of different instruments, obviously bass, keys, guitar. I have three drum tracks going on. I have uh, two overhead mics and one kick mic. Now let's say that I want to go ahead and take all of my drum tracks and just pack them into a folder so that I'm, I know where they are, I can come back and mix them, but I'm done mixing them for now and I want to just kind of move them out of my way and be able to continue working. What I'm going to do first off is I'm going to go ahead and select any of the tracks that I would like to add to my folder track. So I can do that in a couple different ways. I can hold down the control or the Apple key on my keyboard and multiple select multiple tracks or I can simply click and on one track and then move all the way down to the last track I would like to select hold the shift button and then click the last track so now I've selected the last track that I would like to add to a folder track so now it's very easy to create a folder track all I need to do is go ahead and right click in the track column and select the option pack folder this is going to pack all of my drums into a brand new folder. So you can see now I have a new folder track right here. And I have a small representation of the colors of each of my tracks. However, I'm not seeing their waveforms. Now, these will continue to play back. I can mute them. I can solo them. But this way, I don't have to have the tracks taking up space in my production. So I can very easily access these files if I would like by clicking on the folder icon and this will immediately open up and show me all of the different tracks that I'm working with. So I can pack them back up by simply clicking on the folder icon. A couple other cool things I can do here is I can group all of these tracks together. So if I wanted to immediately add all of my drum tracks that I'm working with into one group in, the, in order to be able to, let's say, move one fader in the mixer and automatically change the fader settings for all of those tracks, I can simply click on the group tracks button here. Now I can also bus each of these out by simply clicking on the bus selection pull down here. And if I have buses currently active, I can immediately bus this folder track out to one of those buses such as an effect bus, or I can create a new bus channel by simply clicking and creating a new bus channel. This allows me to add effects and bus my drums out, create uh, drum bus groups or maybe guitar bus groups, things like that. Another cool thing to mention here is that I can nest my folder tracks. That is to say, I can create folder tracks within folder tracks. Now this might seem a little bit crazy, but this can be really useful, again, if I'm using a number of audio tracks which start to be uh, hard to keep track of, or if I have a lot of tracks which are also recording the same instruments. So let's say that I've already created a folder track, as I did here with my drums, but I then decide that I would like to now create a new folder track which is going to take into account my two overheads. All I need to do is select those two overhead tracks inside my folder track, right click and again select the option pack folder. So I've now created yet another packed folder inside of the previous folder which I created. So I've now created an another packed folder inside of the previous packed folder which I had created. So this is really useful for being able to keep track of multiple instruments if you have a number of overheads, a number of cymbal mics, or any other number of mics on any different instruments. This is a great way to be able to just keep track, break out your folder tracks as you work, and be able to really know what it is that you're working with, pay attention to only the things that are currently important in your session, and be, be able to folder nest the rest of the ones that you're currently not working with. So I have a lot of different options working with uh, folder tracks, and this is a great way to really speed up your workflow and be able to just very quickly and easily edit these many, many files that you're always going to have access to when you are recording any amount of audio and recording large sessions. 
So this is a cool new feature. You guys will want to make use of it, get to know it, and see how it speeds up your workflow, hopefully. If you have any questions, please get in touch with me. My email address is brian at obedia.com. You can find me on Twitter at twitter.com forward slash obedia tutor. And of course on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash obedia tutor. Please give me a call, work one-on-one -on -one with us, find out how we can help you to get the most out of your digital audio hardware and software, and we'll help you to tame your technology, which is what we do best here at Obedia. Thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time, take care.